we're going to hitch you up. This week on Project Sullivan, we're going to put this Kurt hitch receiver on this 2023 Tiguan, Tiguanodon, Volkswagen Tiguan. I still think Tiguanodon would have been better. First, let's unbox it. In true tail hitch fashion, it's like a bag of potato chips, empty. However, it did come with our form from, I think we got this one at Napa too, didn't we? We went with the two inch hitch receiver this time. I seem to have misplaced my pocket knife, so we're just gonna use this uh, forge welded blade. We'll just do this kind of surgically so we don't scratch the paint yet. As for what it comes with, we got both, some plates here that probably go into the frame. Open this up without throwing it everywhere. Nuts. Failed. My favorite spring wires for running bolts. That's awesome. That lets me know we're going to be doing that a lot. Carriage bolts. They fit right in the plate here. What's this? The instructions. It says no drill required, so we'll make sure to use one of those. Uh, the lower exhaust hangers might have to be removed. Installation requirements. Ratchet, torque wrench, safety glasses. 13 millimeter and a 16 millimeter socket. We're going to replace the ratchet and the torque wrench with a nugga dugga and get ourselves some sockets. I don't think your hitch is going to be your problem. There goes about 10 miles to the gallon. The thing's heavy enough to lose 10. Let's get under there and see what we got to do. Very few people knew that Kurt sent a custom creeper with every hitch. See you guys under the car. Now, like I said before, you got to use a 16 millimeter, in our case, chrome, because I don't have impact sockets in metric. And uh, while we're at it, we might as well use a metric half inch. Let's see what we got going on here. In true Project Sullivan fashion, I have not read the instructions really. So my guess is we're going to have to take off this bolt here and one on the other side. Then figure out where we got to put this thing. Man, they layer on the undercoating with this thing. It's perfect for that New Mexico snow where they salt the roads with dirt. Let me get that hitch over here and see what we got going on here. I got to figure out a way to get you guys to see what I'm seeing. Today on Project Sullivan, we're going to hitch you up. Hold up. Let's see if we can even get this. No, no, no. Okay. Under. Oh, I was wrong. So, I'm glad we kind of set this up to kind of see how this is going to play out before we started going nuts. I still think we got to take that bolt off, but that's not where our mounting point's going to be. It looks like this bolt here is actually going to mount right here where this bolt is. We're still going to have to take this bolt off to drop the exhaust, but that's only to get the hitch up, which means that you all need to get into focus here. All right, which means this point here has got to attach up to somewhere here. And that means we're going to have to take this plastic cover off. So when they said the only tools required, they did leap out a Torx head so far. What we did read of the instructions, they said, no drill required. So we're going to try to follow through with that and use a different kind of impact, which is basically a drill. Oh, that is convenient. Let me see how well my stabilization is here. If you guys are wondering, we may have lost the GoPro for the day, so I'm trying to use my phone. Ah, looks like you had a stowaway already. Now, the good thing about the creeper that Kurt sends you is it's also a uh, bolt holder. Once we get all the rid of all this dirt, you'll probably be at least a half second faster than a quarter mile. This is a lot more awkward to do with my phone than the GoPro. This video is quickly becoming what Kurt didn't tell you about installing your hitch on your 2023 TIG 1. We're also going to need a 10 millimeter. I only really need a 6 inch uh, extension, but this one might be stuck on my impact, so I'm just going to leave it there. Actually, I didn't need to go get my long extension. I could have just used a three because I already had a three on here. What am I thinking? I'm growing a new appreciation for people who videotape with their phone. Now that we've removed your gravel catch. That's the wrong size. All right, maybe this is supposed to go here. I'm still standing after all this time. Oh, that's probably the, that's probably a metric half inch right there, that bolt. Okay, yeah, that goes there, 16 millimeter, perfect. This is also a 16 millimeter, awesome. Now these are, these are the bolts that hold your bumper in, I'm assuming, so. Hopefully we have fun with this. I'm guessing this is the 
metric half inch we need to use. Let me get that real quick and check it. I got a metric half inch here, and that's very clearly the right half inch for that. Okay, so let's start taking things apart now, shall we? Shalt we? Shan't we? Shan't we? Shall we? I've never been very good at being proper. If you're curious, I plan to send this thing home with Ugga Duggas at the end. Make sure to put your bolt holder in a place that's not going to get in your way every 10 seconds. Alright, time to do the other side. Second burst, same as the first. Doing the driver's side now. This thing's brand new. How's there so much dirt? Alright, I gotta move our custom creeper to get the gravel pavement that we put down. Out of the way. My car ports now an ice cream, Rocky Road. Let's take a quick look, see, and see where we're at on this. Why did they add all that extra stuff? Because it almost looks like it should just bolt up right here. Are these the wrong bolts? Is this the wrong system? Let me lay this thing out again one more time and see where we're at on it. Because I may not even need the, custom, the bolts that come with Kurt's kit. Alright, y'all tell me if uh, this lines up. Put y'all back, because it almost looks like... Yeah, let me see that bolt. What are y'all doing laying down on the job? That thing looked like it was so close to lining up. Okay, well, let's see. Does this go right back in? No. So the hole no longer lines up with the... Let me see if I can put the front one in first. Then. I hope y'all can see this. I know I barely can. Okay, hold on. Now it doesn't want to go over this piece. Well, let's check to see if this one lines up, which it doesn't. What about this one? Okay, that one still fits. All right, so we got to get over this lip, though. Whew! We're going to have to play that Fort Minor song. How does it go? 10% luck, 40% skill, 100% concentrated power of will. <sighs> no, I'm on. Day 37. Supplies are running low. We're still trying to get the hitch receiver on the TIG one. I've had to resort to the motivator 9000. Let's see how well this works. If you look up in the top right corner, you'll see a, a link to the video where we did this with the 2014 Ford Focus with a lot more success. Okay, I don't want to scratch your powder coating though. Before we resort to the Motivator 9000, maybe we'll get the old wooden mallet and try tapping it up. I thought you were going to put the wood there and hit it. Alright, you asked for it. And apparently it told me I'm a punk. It looks like it went up a hair. Did it go up at all? Looks like it needs to go that way too. Other than that, it looks like it's fitting up there pretty good. Other than the fact that it won't bolt in, it seems fantastic. Yeah, and I can't get the block of wood up there either because it's so tight. That thing does not want to fit now. It's so close. Let me try this. Okay, apparently you got to send the other side completely home before this side will move. this big old hammer in there. All right, it still needs to go back that way. What happens if I use my superhuman mic? You just have to unlock all for one to be able to get this bolt in. It's so close now. This thing's whooping my ass. Maybe part of my problem is that it's hard to get in there with the big impact. So, I gotta change out my camera stand. By the way, that was my camera stand. For my other camera stand, let's see if that might help. Smaller, lighter duty, or lighter. I was looking for my other impact, but I couldn't find it. Gogo -Go must have needed it more than I do. And that did the trick. Popped right in. You know what they say, if two wouldn't hold it, four never would have. You're, you're just stuck with only two bolts in it. No, I'm just joking. Let me see if I can fit this up a little bit there. Anybody in the comments below want to tell me what I'm doing wrong about getting these things to line up? Here on Project Sullivan, we make the mistakes so you don't have to. Project Sullivan was not filmed in front of a live studio audience. Let's try putting the jack under it. Maybe that will... Let's see if we pick it up by the tongue here. Maybe it'll kind of tweak it back there. Right there. Hold on. Let's see if that's enough to solve my... No, it does not want to line up at all. Okay. How do we line this up? All right. So here's my thoughts. It's not lined up because once we took the bolt out originally... The weight from the bumper is causing a leverage situation where this bumper is pushing down like this and putting this end up, pushing this end up, causing it not to line up anymore. I need to push the bumper back up on this side. But 
there's a plastic in the way. Should I remove the plastic, which I'd really not like to do? What would it even take for me to remove this plastic? A horrible idea. I do not want to do that. I really, really, really don't want to do that. All right. It doesn't seem like it wants to wiggle, but it's definitely wiggling. All right. Let me try to... Now that I've got these bolts in, I'm going to tap them out a little on both sides. Too far. Right there. Just enough to where we can maybe cause a pivot thing. Don't worry. Y'all chill over there. I'm just doing the driver's side real quick. Now that that pivots a little, maybe I can work it down. This is still not. What's a good way to solve this? You know what? Let's try one of our spring helpers. Y'all paid attention because I don't know if I'll be able to do this again. Good thing I got my fishing license this year. By the way, this is exactly the wrong way to use these. But, desperate times and all that jazz. Man, this starts getting any more complicated. I'm going to bust out the welder and the grinder. Well, you know what? This isn't going to work. Anybody tell me why that won't work? Probably because I have it threaded onto the bolt. Okay, so let's turn back around to another plan. Actually, that seemed to, that seemed to straighten that out some. I wonder if maybe now I can... Damn it. Oh! What a moron. All right, so let me walk you through this. It is the bumper. But if I would have looked around a little more, I'd realize there's a big hole right here that allows you to access the metal bumper. Back up so you guys can see. Right here, that's the metal bumper. So now I can just have to navigate by pushing this up and the bolt, and I should be able to fiddle that into place. And if I would have noticed that an hour, a half hour ago, it would have saved me a lot of fighting. And ta-da, it's threaded. Sometimes, sometimes the simplest solution's just looking around. Sometimes you just gotta laugh about it, you know? It's just all, that's all there is to it. All right, let's go to the other side. Thank me for overcomplicating it. Let's get you all positioned. Set that into place. And apparently you line up the other side and this side just falls into place. We'll full send this and then we can move on to our metric half inches. What's that old saying? You learn something new every day. Now let's do our half inch over here. Now we just finish assembling it. Now we're going to break on through to the other side. Oh, I need that big socket again, Mom. That's 16 millimeter. And that's how you install a hitch receiver on a 2023 Volkswagen Tiguan. Tig Tiguan? Tig yeah. Tiguan? I still like Tiguanodon. <laughs> Correction, that's how not to install a Kurt hitch on a 2023 Tiguan. Learn from our mistakes so you don't have to. If you watch this long, you might as well subscribe. And remember, don't wait for opportunity, create it.